This old English case, heard in the Court of Appeal in 1857, established a rule of statutory interpretation called the Golden Rule. The case itself is an old-fashioned succession case. The testator, the person who made the will, left some land to his grandson. And he said, In case he shall die under the age of 21 years and without issue, the land should go to his granddaughter. And there were a couple of other backups. If none of those things happened, then the land would go back into the estate generally and be managed by his trustees. In this context, without issue means without having children. Now, the grandson made it to age 21, but then died without having children. So the question for the court was whether the land would then pass to his sister or whether it would go back into the estate. It all hinged on the meaning of the word and. The grandson did not die under the age of 21, but he did die without having children. So from one perspective, you could say he didn't both die under the age of 21 and die without children. The court looked at the words and started out by applying a literal interpretation. They said that and means both, so the land only goes to the granddaughter if the grandson dies under 21 and also at the time of his death he had no children. In explaining this process, Lord Wensleydale said that in construing statutes, as well as in construing all other written instruments, the grammatical and ordinary sense of the word is to be adhered to, unless that would lead to some absurdity or some repugnance or inconsistency with the rest of the instrument, in which case the grammatical and ordinary sense of the words may be modified so as to avoid that absurdity and inconsistency, but no further. In other words, if the literal words contained an absolute absurdity, the absurdity could be corrected. So let's say a will said, my grandson can have my lands in England, provided those lands are in Germany. That would be absurd, and the literal approach could be set aside. In this case, the word and meant both. And even though that seemed to produce a result that was harsh for the granddaughter, the result wasn't actually absurd. So the literal meaning of the words was used. Mm -hmm.